Hello again, Kathy McLeish, and I'm going to talk a little bit about alcohol and how the alcoholic really cannot ever drink again if they want to get on the other side of this disease. Now, when I first heard that, it was almost like time stopped. It was almost like I just need a minute to think about this. In fact, in my alcoholic mind, I was immediately trying to think of how I was gonna get around that. Maybe that was true for all of you, but I was gonna get around that. I would probably be able to learn enough, stick in this program or stick with these people long enough to learn how to live without drinking too much. And that's what we alcoholics do. We make a few bad decisions, we drink, we drink, we drink. We try to figure out how we can drink with this person in this place, drink this alcohol, come home at this time, frame it up some different way so that our drinking is not alcoholic. And we can spend years trying to do that and it does not work. Our mind won't help us with that. Our mind will say, do something different, try something different. Why don't you try not to drink for a week and then go back? Don't drink after five o'clock. Don't drink in the morning. Don't drink that drink. Switch to hard liquor. Stop drinking beer all day long. We try to figure out another way. We have a different relationship with alcohol than normal people. We want what alcohol does for us. That's what we want. That's why if I was in a bar and I ordered a weird drink acting like I was a normal person and I'm gonna try this weird new fun drink and I didn't like it and the bartender said, fine, I'll take it back, I'll make you another, I would say, <laughs> and what, throw it down the drain? I can drink it. I can drink a drink I don't like because there's alcohol in it. In fact, I tell a story in another video where I had a party in my last years of drinking and when everybody left, I drank the drinks that they did not finish. An alcoholic has a real hard time with people who don't finish drinks. That makes no sense. And I drank just enough drinks out of dark beer bottles that I found one a little too late that was used as an ashtray. So, the alcoholic is looking for something different when it comes to alcohol. They're looking to change how they feel. And if you tell me that the answer to my drinking problem is to never drink again, it's like you told me that the answer to all my problems is that you're gonna take away the answer to all my problems. And that is a real tough scenario for an alcoholic. We come into any kind of recovery whether we're in a treatment center, whether we're at a 12-step program, wherever we end up with a therapist in a therapist office, and we aren't looking to quit totally, we're looking for you to help us to drink like normal people. It isn't gonna get turned back. It's not gonna happen. So how do I handle the fact that I can't drink again? Well, here, here's a few truths. Some people will stop drinking. They will stop drinking for six months. It's kind of like when you hear somebody that is on an antidepressant and they start to feel better and then they stop taking the antidepressant because they feel fine. And you're like, what is wrong with that logic? Well, the alcoholic has the same kind of logic and they will stop drinking for six months and they will think, see, this proves I'm not an alcoholic. And they will start again and they will find themselves at the very same place that they left off. They don't start again at the beginning. They start where they left off. And usually where they left off is at the end where they needed to stop. So we can have a recovering person that's been sober for 10, 20 years. They go into retirement and they think, now I can drink and relax like a normal person, but it doesn't happen. They drink and they come and find themselves right back where they were when they had to stop drinking to save their life. And guess what? They could be dead in a year. So the alcoholic stops drinking a day at a time, and that's all they concentrate on is that day. And eventually what happens, if you're actually in some kind of a support system or a program where you're changing how you think, you're changing how you take in emotions and how you sort things out in your life, you are removing a reason to take a drink one step at a time. And so the alcoholic finds that life without a drink is manageable. It's manageable without a drink. And so it becomes the life that they want to live. If you do it the right way, I've done it the right way. And that's why staying sober is like more attractive to me 
And it was in my late twenties, by the time I had been in the program for a year, I knew I was on a better path. I was going to get what I wanted out of life if I could stay away from a drink a day at a time. And so how did I do that? How did I do that? I chose to do it by staying connected to what worked for me, a support system, a coach, a therapist, whatever it was that I established, I kept doing it. And you know what? It isn't my whole life. It's a small piece of my life that gives me the whole rest of an awesome life. Going without a drink is a hard, hard thing to fathom. I was that person. Tell me anything else, but do not tell me I'm gonna do one day without a drink forever. And don't act like it's not forever because I'm not stupid. I was that person. But coming on the other side is like so doable. It was so doable when it was cut down in proportion to what I could handle. And today, it's not even anything I think about. I do know I have a lot of respect for alcohol. I do know I'm an alcoholic. I do know I cannot drink, but I don't mourn the loss of it anymore. In fact, I am grateful that that isn't my battle. It's not my battle anymore. I have no monkeys on my back and I am free. So thinking about stopping drinking, if it's new to you, just kind of try to let it soak in a little bit by a little bit and doing it one day at a time, one week at a time, the benefits come back at you a lot faster than these negative feelings you're having about letting it go. And that's the reward. So if you wanna do that for yourself, you can start that just one day at a time. I would recommend a support system, somebody that knows exactly what you're doing and can help you find the way. Preferably somebody that has walked that walk before you. And then get in the middle of that group. People that are wiser than you, that know more than you, and people that are behind you that you can feel good about helping along. So Kathy McLeish, trying to spread a little bit more information about alcoholism, how it works and how it will not work for you in the end and what you might do to counteract that. Thanks.